Hey guys, Awkward Hybrid here. I had an interesting day, to say the least. Okay, um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about, you know, like, gore and, and sexual content. I won't show it, because again, no editing softwares or whatever, but I'll be talking about them. So if you're sensitive to, like, blood and guts and then again, sexual talk, then this is your way out for the video. You can watch anything else. How was my day interesting? So, um, okay, let's start off with lunch, okay? I was in the lunchroom talking with my friends, blah, 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 and then, f now, I'm full, I'm pretty much just taking up space at this point, so I think to myself, hey, I'll just go to the cafeteria, and I'll just edit this thing that I've been writing. So I go to the library, to one of the computers, and I start writing away. The bell rings, I collect my stuff, and I go over to fourth period of class. Now, um, I walk in, and this is a class with a lot of my friends, or at least people I know, so it's like, oh, hey, I know these guys. So I greet them all, say hi, and they look over, and they're like, all flustered and they have a nervous laughter like you know the laugh like someone like if you get jump scared in like a game or a, or in a haunted attraction you get a jump scare and then it's like really scary at first so you're kinda laughing afterwards it's that kinda laugh so I'm confused as to what's going on and one of them I'm not gonna say her name but I'll call her Michelle for this video Michelle she uh she just like leans over to me and she's like red in the face and like all nervous and she whispers into my ear we just saw someone masturbating in the cafeteria now I was at a different part because I have a lot of friends that I know or at least people or at least loose friends my very cl close group of friends is all is at like the uh, like they're at one end near the uh, the station where you get your food and they're over at like the exit of the cafeteria so I wasn't in that situation and then again I left so I didn't see it but they're talking about it a lot and again I can't confirm whether this was true or not but <laughs> I was a little shocked to say the least after that revelation of Mr. Public Masturbator. I went on with the rest of the class, just like, okay, let's try not to think about it. I'll just keep my mind on different things. And, of course, I continue on with my other classes, and I go to sixth period geology. And geology is a pretty cool class for the moment. It is a semester class, and we usually go on a lot of field trips, and we watch a bunch, like, we watch movies, but we do, like, study stuff, and learn about the history of our planet and so forth but today there is a substitute and I can't remember her name so I'm not saying it of course but she says hey Mr. Hartman wants me to show you guys this movie and I don't know what the movie is but it's basically like you know those natural disaster films like some of them are pretty good some of them are bad but say what you want I haven't seen a whole lot of natural disaster films in my life you remember that tsunami film that came out last year or something? It was a while ago, like at least a year ago. It was that film with this tsunami, like that British family in Thailand based off of true events. Yeah, it was that movie. And if you saw the film, you would know why I put up that little warning at the beginning. Well, the second reason why. If not, then let me explain. Now, let me just tell you that I haven't seen a whole lot of rated R movies in my life. I have only seen one, and that is Mad Max Fury Road. Now, why is that the case? My family has a very strict no R rated movies rule. And we didn't sneak this movie under my mom's nose, or my friends and I. We, we didn't. The only reason why this movie is acceptable because my brother saw the film before he left for college and he said, oh yeah, the movie's fine. It's, it's just a bunch of explosions. Like, yeah, there's naked women, but you don't see her parts or her body. 
it, it's at just the right place so you don't see anything. Like, that's as close as it gets. I don't know why it's rated R. So, that is the only movie with enough wiggle room for us to watch without getting in trouble. So, I'm a little desensitized to R-rated films. I have to keep my mind off of Mr. Public Lunchroom Masturbator and I walk in and there's a tsunami. Y yeah, I don't get it how it's like it's always based off of true events and it's always this, this white family in a western country going over to area with natural disaster and then natural disaster hits. But yeah, again, IRL, this family was from Spain but in the movie they were British. Anyway, I'll continue on. They go to Thailand for Christmas. And hey, it's so exciting. Christmas stuff and all that. And they're at this resort. They're not at the beach where they can't, where they see the signs. It's like in the resort. And like, so it's pretty far away from the beach. And of course, there's this scene where it's like the mom. It's like mom, dad, and then three sons. But yeah, the mom, of course, she has this notebook. And then a piece of paper flies out. So she runs over to get it. And then she, there's like this rumbling and this shaking, and then the birds are flying off, so you realize, well, darn, something's gonna happen. And then you look over, and then there's a tsunami, like, heading in their direction. And the family's like screaming at each other, like, get the kids, get inside now! And then, yeah, all this stuff happens, the tsunami hits, it cuts to black, and then the mom's like, swimming around desperately to find some sort of refuge, or her family, or her, like, her husband and son. And then there's Lucas, the eldest child in this film, and they eventually, like, reunite after a long while of struggling to get each other throughout the waters. See, this is where it gets, like, again, gory and sexual, because there isn't, like, any... Well, I mean, if you consider boobs sexual, then I guess, but if not, then... Yeah, but still, showing them can get you a rated R film, especially in multiple shots, and just that happens. Now first, the two are walking along like all these knocked down trees and the water is just shallow enough so it, it only reaches like mid shin or something. And it shows a, like a shot of the woman's thigh. And there's just this huge gaping hole right in the back of her thigh. And there's like a skin flap who's it's like hanging there just flapping along. And, of course, it cuts to the son's face, and he just stops, like, freezes up, because his mom has this giant hole. Like, you see the bone, and she's just limping along, like, just gonna get some ice cream, son. And, of course, she turns around, like, Lucas, what is it? I I'm not gonna impersonate the British accent. And then, of course, Lucas just doesn't even look, he just turns his back, and, like, doesn't even look at his mom. And then it pans the camera down just enough, and, of course, her shirt's torn up, so her... Her cleavage is just kind of hanging out. So she ties it back up and continues along. Now, at this scene, a lot of the kids, especially s some of the boys... Now, one of my friends, I'm not saying his name, but I'll call him... I'll call him Zach for this video. Like, he just... He, like, when he saw the thigh shot of the gaping wound, he's like, Oh! Like, half the class just went, Oh! And a lot of the boys, from what I saw, they were all, like, turning their heads when it showed the boob shot. Like, especially Jeremy. Like, he just turned his head over to me. Like, he wasn't looking at me, but he was clearly looking away, just, just like this. And, of course, I make a joke. Like, I lean on it, and it's like, you, like, you just saw this woman's gaping thigh wound, and it's her boobs that terrify you the most. But I was trying to make light of the situation, even though on the inside, I was screaming internally. Because I am not used to rated R films. Anyway, more stuff happens. They find this, like, toddler kid who's, like, three or four who try to get them to safety. They go to a hospital. And there's this, just this one scene with, like, I don't know if they were, like, indigenous or, like, natives to Thailand. But, I don't know, it was basically a bunch of old people. And, of course, they're trying, like, it, like, it doesn't have subtitles, but they're, well, what you get... But you get the feeling that they're trying to help them. So one of this old man with like a Santa beard and like white hair and he has like a loincloth and nothing else is like dragging the mom like across the ground. And of course, this is after a tsunami hit. So it's like all these branches and wires and she's just screaming in agony. Because again, the wound's on the back of her thigh. 
So she's just like screaming let in agony and I'm just sitting there like oh my god oh my god I'm sorry I am wearing an adventure time hoodie do I look like the kind of person who can watch this sort of thing but yeah that scene ends and she gets to the hospital and of course she's being carried out on a door no less like an unhinged door and her son's trying to follow along but they get separated because it's so crowded in the hospital and then there's this other lady who's like being carted along in this cart, I mean. And she's like screaming, like she's biting down on the towel and screaming in agony. And you see her legs and they're like uh, like broken and all these awkward angles that is clearly unnatural. And it's just like, <laughs> I wasn't actually doing that. I was just silent throughout the movie except for that one comment with, with, with Zach. And even then, it was... I was terrified. <laughs> I, I, I was certain that if someone handed me a mirror, I would have had a look like I just, like I was seeing this stuff IRL. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <clears throat> anyway, you go to the hospital and such, and she's like being treated, and then it's like, her shirt's being cut open, so cue another boob shot. And then later, she, uh... Like, she's at, like, in this proper f facility place. Like, she's all, like, bandaged up. She, like, she, like her blood's been cleaned away. And she's lying next to this different lady who doesn't have the broken legs. She has, like, she has, like dark brown hair. She's very pale and just, like, she's unresponsive. So, the woman, I forgot to mention, she was a doctor. Like, it was brought up, like, oh, I'm a doctor. I know this thing. So, she leans over and is like, hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? And then the woman just starts coughing up blood profusely. And it's not just, like, clean, straight blood. It's, like, there are chunks of, like, not just whatever she left. She wasn't puking. They were clearly chunks of muscle. Like, she was coughing up, literally coughing up her insides. So, it's just like, oh my, is this woman okay? The mom tells the lady, turn on your side, it'll be easier. And then the mom starts coughing up blood and chunks of muscle. And Luke, the kid, the Lucas kid, is just sitting there, terrified, as like, like this nurse is holding this this lady as she is just like pulling out this fishing, this long, fishing wire from her throat, and there's chunks of her of her esophagus just still attached to it, and she's just, just blood is just streaming down her throat, and like, and afterwards she just falls on her back. I don't know, I think if there were chunks of my esophagus just attached to a fishing wire I pulled out of my throat, I would want a little more medical attention. <sighs> Again, I'm not as desensitized to this stuff as, as my other friends are. And you're probably sitting there like, oh, but October is the Walking Dead month, remember? How can you... How is it that you're freaking out over this British tsunami film, but you can stomach The Walking Dead? Okay, see, here's the thing about The Walking Dead. I know it's not real. Yeah, the actors are okay, but I know that this isn't based off of true events. And let's be honest here, the effects can be pretty bad, in the CGI elements at least. And it can be a little campy. So it's like, oh yeah, sure, just show a guy with his guts being torn out. I know that this is fake. This was based off of true events, so it was very likely that this woman, who again, like, like it was, she had this gaping thigh wound. She had to pull a fishing wire from her throat. So I was terrified. But yeah, I get a slip from the office, and, like, cause like I had to leave early for an orthodontist appointment, and in my head I'm like, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Like, I just want to collapse on the ground in a puddle of tears because I was just so happy to get away from that. I just realized I have only 30 seconds left because I have a 15 minute time limit video. I am done talking about movies and masturbation and boobs and all that. I promise you I am done. If you happen to like this explicit video, leave a like. Maybe subscribe if you want. You're not obligated to. Just I have 17 subscribers and I promise I will be calmer in the next video. Take care.